Bischoff may have beat the WWE for 83 weeks in a row, but it feels like this beef with Dave Meltzer and him is going to go on for 83 years. Welcome back to Fog Wrestling. A lot of fallout in the past couple of days due to the Dynamite ratings, the NXT ratings. Combine them all, the, all the AW ratings. It still couldn't be NXT. Dave Meltzer, earlier, we talked about it. He went into meltdown mode. He started whipping out numbers for the 90s. WWF numbers for 90 to 98, WCW numbers for its entire 13 year run and he said the AW in 2025 is more sustainable than all of those years combined, making a bigger profit. Eric Bischoff, you know he wouldn't take this one lying down. But before we get into Eric Bischoff's comments, I just think the extent that Dave Meltzer's going to proves that he's paid off by Tony Khan. You cannot, I am convinced, this isn't even a hunch, this isn't a prediction. I am 100% guaranteeing it that Dave Meltzer receives some form of payoff from Tony Khan. He has to. You know, he's supposed to be an independent wrestling journalist. He's supposed to call it straight down the middle like Jesse Ventura at SummerSlam 99. I don't see it. You know, see what this guy has done over the past couple of days. Look at his Twitter, man. I'm sure, I don't I mean, I'm never, I will never in a million years subscribe to his newsletter, but for the losers out there that do, I can guarantee you it's all, you know, trying to paint AEW in a positive light this week. I mean, he came out with a tweet, you know, acknowledging, you know what, NXT beat AEW. AEW is not what it was two years ago. They've lost a lot of their fan base. And then it's almost like he received a... A phone call, man, for Tony Cam within three seconds. It's like when he phoned the president at the White House. And within two seconds, he's on Twitter, burying people, whipping out numbers for the 90s. And I touched on it in the previous vid. It's like, how does... Dave Meltzer's a sad man, right? But for him to know the complete ins and outs of all these different companies has to be... I mean, Bischoff's called him out on it, so we may as well dive into it, but I thought it was bullshit at the time when uh, Meltzer claimed all this stuff. But, uh, of course, last week, AEW officially confirmed a new media rights deal with Warner Brothers Discovery. Long-time wrestling analyst Dave Meltzer of FOW Online noted the following regarding the profitability of AEW with the deal. With a conservative model, factoring in no international deals, and we've already seen a new one yesterday and no additional TV deals. AW next year will be more profitable than the entirety of WCW's 13 years combined and WWF in 1990 to 98 combined and WWB every year for 2011 to 2017 combined. End of quote. That's the quote we brought you earlier. But former WCW president Eric Bischoff, he's issued a response to Meltzer because guess what, folks? You guessed it. He's not a happy man. And rightfully so, he's not a happy man because he's he's getting stuck straight in. Some people are calling Bischoff bitter. You know what? I don't blame Eric Bischoff for going full guns blazing. Some of the comments over the years, I mean, it's not so much Meltzer. I mean, see some of the comments that Tony Khan, Trent Rudin said about, you know, WCW. It's fucking damn right distasteful. And it just doesn't have a fucking clue what he's on about. So I totally understand Eric Bischoff's point of view and this is what he had to say and I quote cool share the in-kind value within the license agreement against the current profit and loss statement and projections you would absolutely have had to be able to analyze it or in your case have someone explain it to you that detail or you couldn't possibly make such a statement unless of course you're full of shit which makes you prove every time you make such ridiculous statements so which is it have you seen such detailed p P's and L's and forecasts from the LLC's accountants or are you just full of shit? It's a binary choice. End of quote. So I tell you what, I think Bischoff has got Dave Meltzer staring down the barrel of a shotgun here because he's got him. Dave Meltzer, right, probably won't respond to Bischoff because he's not going to have proof. Now, yo, is there a problem, right? It is, Mel is Bischoff a bit bitter the AW staying on TNT and TBS and WCW got booted off the networks. I honestly don't think he's bitter because why would Bischoff be bitter at that? Why would he be? He had a great company and yeah, you know, some decisions turned out and WCW's dead at the end of the day, right? But WCW will be remembered. I mean, WCW ran out of business 23 years ago. 
And there's a lot of people on this planet that care more about WCW, which has been dead for, you know, nearly a quarter of a century, than they ever will about AEW. And for me, WCW hands down smokes AEW. AEW will not do anything in the near future to get anywhere close to WCW. It's just a fact. Some guy, though, and I thought it was actually a good comment, said, isn't this a problem? Ratings suck, attendance and suck, but hey, we're doing better than a dead company did decades ago. Why does it matter? And that's pretty much it. You know, why does it matter? WCW is done. WCW is in the grind. Well, you know, should should Tony Khan and Dave Meltzer not be worrying about the fact that their free shows combined couldn't get anywhere near NXT, man? 60k off when you combine Rampage, Collision and Dynamite. That is the here and now. Not worrying about WCW and it's dying. Fucking WCW is dying days, man. Smoking all these companies, man. It's pathetic. They need to they need to let it go. I mean, I think maybe there is an element, right, that Eric Bischoff is bitter, right? But f- I'll tell you, fuck it. Everything Eric Bischoff's been a part of, right, whether it be WCW or WWE in his 02205 run or his TNA run, it smokes the shitey excuse of a company AEW, man. It does. I mean, I've I seen that dynamite. See some of the clips of that dynamite? The selling for John Moxley backstage and him and Brian are brawling. Jesus. I mean, wh- where did he learn to sell? John Moxley? I mean, it's a shame because I actually think like the past month, John Moxley's had some of the best work that we've seen in the, re- the current wrestling business. You know, the past, in the month of September, John Moxley. <laughs> John Moxley was doing good. Ah, uh, but... Yeah, um, and just some other awful, I mean, the whole, that whole Jake the Snake stuff, ugh, no, no wonder the ratings were doing it. And then you've got, like, people, like, the AEW fanboys are bragging, oh, look, half the roster missed the show, and we we still did 329. Yeah, yeah, why? yeah, half the roster missed the show, and you still did 329. Then you've got people greeting, oh, only the losers care about the ratings. TV companies care about the ratings, man. You know, if Tony Khan didn't have deeper pockets... Than the fucking Grand Canyon, he wouldn't be able to. He wouldn't be able to secure these deals, you know, because it would come down to what they're actually drawing, and what they're drawing is hee haw. They couldn't draw a dime. I mean, three hundred twenty nine thousand. Oh, next week we'll be back in the seven hundred club. Will they though? They probably won't be back in the seven hundred club. I mean, we've seen them go all out five and a year anniversaries, big all out shows, and you know they're they're barely scraping seven hundred, and in most cases not even getting it. The company's going down the drain, and. Uh, that's what's happening. We did a video last night talking about Dara being a Netflix deal. 50 billion. You know, 50 billion Netflix deal. It's all right having your, your nice wee 186 million Warner Brothers deals, which, which, to be honest, Tony Khan's fronted about triple that just to get on the channel. End of the day. Dara B is the major leagues. AW is the minor leagues with major league money. That's what we're dealing with here. I'm in Team Bischoff.